All right, so we're looking at 5.3, multiplying and dividing monomials. And a monomial is an expression that is either a number of variable or a product of numbers and variables. So for example, we're looking here, this would be just the variable, this would be just a number, this would be the product multiplication of four times x to the third, or negative 7 times a times b. So it's multiplying um, or individuals. So let's do um, some multiplying with monomials. So I have one monomial times the other monomial. What you want to do, we just finished um, multiplying with and dividing with um, exponents. We're going to do the same thing except we're going to break them up so it looks like what we just went through. So let's put the things that are like together. 3 and 4 are numbers so I'm going to put them together and I'm left with x and x. I'm going to go back to multiplying um, with two bases. That was in section 1 of chapter 5, 5.1. I do know 3 times 4 is 12, so that's an easy thing. Remember when you have two bases with two exponents. So even though there doesn't seem to be an exponent, there is. We add our exponents. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Let's try another one. Now remember that when there is no exponent, there always is one. We just don't see it. There's one right there. Also, when there's a negative, you can write it as negative 1. That way we can take it and multiply it with the 3. So, like things, the 3 with the negative 1. The x squared with the x to the first power. Doing the multiplication. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. A negative times a positive is a negative. 3 times 1 is 3. Two bases, two exponents, we add x to the third. A little more involved, not too bad. So again, I'm going to put a 1 here so that it makes it easier for me, and then I'm also going to put a 1 exponent. So when I'm looking at this, I'm looking at, I have more room down here, 4 times 2 times negative 1. I'm putting all the things that are similar together. m squared times m to the third and m to the first. The reason I can do what I'm doing is in multiplication, we can multiply in any order we want. So we can move them around in any way we want. So over here, I get 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times negative 1, negative 8. I have 3 bases with 3 exponents. I'm going to add them. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 1 would be 6. I'm going to try one that's a little more involved, but not too bad either. So we're looking here. We're going to put the things that are similar together. Negative 7 with the 4, so the plain numbers together. Then I'm going to put the x's together. x squared, and remember, x to the first, even though it doesn't seem to have an exponent. y to the fifth, and y to the third. Take it piece by piece, just like section 1 it's not too bad. Negative 7 times 4, negative 28. Positive times a negative is a negative. 7 times 4 is 28. Two bases with two exponents we add. Three, 2 plus 1, pardon me, is 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. All right, so now we're going to look at dividing. Way, dividing monomials. So if we go back and we look at our section 1 of chapter 5, we did problems like this. And this is still dividing monomials, one divided by the other. Remember that you subtract the exponents, 5 minus 2, so we get x to the third. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have to break down our problem. 
So first I'm going to group the like things together. So I have two numbers, negative 5 over negative 5. Then I have the letters x, so x to the third and x to the second. Now I'm looking at y, y to the fourth over y. And remember, there's an exponent, it's just a 1. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is a 1. So it doesn't matter that it's there, it kind of just dissolved on us. Remember, we're subtracting our exponents. So in this case, x to the 3 minus 2 and y to the 4 minus 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. So I have x to the first power, y to the third power. Same thing, get the like things together. So we're going to put the numbers together, negative 32 and 8. Now working on the x's, x to the 15th, x to the 14th, and now the y's, y to the 7th, y to the 6th. So when we look at this, we've got negative 32 divided by 8. Negative divided by a positive is a negative. 32 divided by 8 is 4. Four. Remember, we're subtracting our exponents, x to the 15 minus 4 and y to the 7 minus 6. So negative 4, 15 minus 4 is 1, so x to the first, and we don't need to write the 1, and y, 7 minus 6 is 1. Once again, we're going to bring together the things that are similar. In this case, we're looking at the numbers first, 15 divided by 3. Then we're going to put the p's together, p to the second over p to the fourth. And then the q's, q to the fourth over q into the first power. Starting with 15 divided by 3, 15 divided by 3 is 5. Here we have p to the 2 minus 4, top minus the bottom, 4 minus 1. Now, 2 minus 4 gives me a negative 2 as my exponent. 4 minus 1 is 3. We don't like negative exponents. And if we go back to the last section, we talked about what happens if it's a negative exponent. It moves it to the bottom of the fraction. This is the only portion that has a negative exponent. So the 5 and the q to the third power, nothing happens. But the p moves down and it gets a positive exponent because it moved down.